Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Please consider subscribing and ring that bell. Guess what? Guess what? I am at 95 subscribers. I said once I get to 100, we're going to be doing a giveaway. So if you want to be entered into the giveaway, you need to leave a comment down below. Let me know how to reach you and let me know what kind of products you like. If you like Not Polish, Glitter Planet, McCart, Enel Couture, I've heard of Anna Acrylics. Let me know what your favorites are so I can figure out what one I'm going to get for you guys. And today I'm going to be doing a music inspired set because it's music to my heart when you guys leave me comments and likes. It helps me so much. Thank you everybody. I appreciate you all and let's get into it. So in this video, I will be using the Not Polish Acrylic Obsessed, which is glow in the dark and it glows green. Very pretty. From Not Polish, I will be using Vivid Dreams. It's also glow in the dark and it glows pink. Also, I'm using this white acrylic from Model Ones. Number 82. Clear acrylic. I'll also be using not polish. Clear. For the glitter, I'm going to be using the Enel Couture glitter that has no name on it, but very pretty. The glitter is from Etsy. And I'm just going to be using the little guitars out of it. So cute! Jumping right into the video, I have already prepped the nails and got the tips on. I am using the Universal Tips from Not Polish. Absolutely love them. <clears throat> Perfect shape. The silicone hand grabs onto everything, so I'm just going to clean that off a little bit. I have a little dust on it. Get that clean and then I'm going to clean these nails so the product will stick. And what I use to clean them, I just use rubbing alcohol. It works perfectly fine and it also dehydrates the nails for you. So you really don't have to use the dehydrator. Especially on a practice hand, you don't have to use the dehydrator. Okay, and I'm going to start out with the pinky finger. And with that, I'm going to put a little of that Enel Couture glitter right up by the cuticle. And I'm going to fade down. I haven't decided what color yet, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've decided to fade the Vivid Dreams, the glow in the dark pink color, up into that Enel Couture glitter. This is what it looks like. Super pretty. I really want to do a set on myself with a nude and this color. It is so stunning. And of course, I'm using my Nail Mate brush. You've got this number 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tray and dump the glitter into it. It just makes it a lot easier to pick it up, especially with acrylic, because I don't like getting little clumps in my glitter jars. So I do that, and then I'm going to take that Not Polish Clear, and I'm going to take a very, very thin bead, or well, a very small bead of the clear, and I'm going to place it on the bed of the nail. That just helps with the glitter sticking when you apply it at first. If you try it out, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm just going to place this a very small amount right up by the cuticle. I just love this look. I want to try like every glitter and every color <laughs> with this look. I don't know what it is about it. I just love it. So I'm going to do this 
And then I'm gonna take that pink and just blend it up like an ombre. And, oh, I wanna tell you, when you do this, when you place the glitter and your ombre a color or anything up into it, it works a lot better when you cap that glitter with some clear. It just makes it smoother for it to glide up there so you don't have missing spots where the color sinks into the glitter. So I'll let you watch as I do this. For the middle finger, I'm gonna go in with the Model 1's white and the Vivid Dreams pink by Not Polish. And I'm going to marble this nail. And then I'm going to take different kinds of glitter and I'm gonna take one of those little guitars and place it on top of all of this. And what else did I put? I, I also put some caviar beads on it some white ones and I think some gold ones the white ones are from Enel Couture and the gold ones that I used I got off of Amazon the ones that I usually use to fill in the gaps of my stones when I place them so I'll let you watch as I do this marble and as I do the glitter um also I want to tell you with the glitter, I ended up putting a base coat down, which I used McCart base coat. I put that down. It just gives me more time to place the glitter and move it if I don't like where it's at. So that's what I do with that one. So I'll let you watch as I do all that. Thinking back in time that laid out I 
The glitters that I used in this, I used some of that Enel Couture that I used in the cuticle area on the pinky, but I also used a bunch of glitters or pieces out of some of the jars from Etsy. If I can find the link to that, then I will put it in the description, but I'm not sure. It's been a while since I got it, so I'm not sure if I can find it, but if I do, I will link it. But after I placed the glitter where I wanted, then I capped it and clear just so nothing got stuck to it because base coat has a sticky layer after you cure it. And yes, I cured it after I placed everything where I wanted it. So I am just going to finish this up with the clear and then we'll move on to the ring finger. I'll let you watch. For the ring finger, I'm going to take that clear acrylic and I'm going to cover the nail bed like I did with the other two. And then, well, I put it at the bottom too because I'm putting the E-Nail Couture glitter that I've been using, I'm putting that at the tip, completely covering the tip of it, kind of fade it up onto the nail bed, and then I'm going to take that beautiful nude acrylic called Obsessed. I am obsessed with it from Not Polish and I am going to ombre that down into the glitter tip. So I'll let you watch as I do that. also ended up placing a little guitar on the middle nail as well after I got the acrylic laid down. I placed it in there when it was still wet so it stuck in there. I didn't do the base coat with that nail. But for the pointer finger now I am using that beautiful glow-in-the-dark pink color um, Vivid Dreams. With this acrylic all the not polished acrylics work amazingly but as you can see when i place this pink you can see where the each bead ends and starts you can see a line if you uh, keep messing with it and you lay down a bigger bead like i'm doing right now and pull it down it it covers it up and blends it in. I don't know if it's because the glow in the dark part of it. Sometimes that happens, but <clears throat> it's really easy to work with. So I just wanted to point that out. That's why that's happening. But this color, oh my goodness. Like, I can't decide if I'm going to use this, <clears throat> excuse me, on the next 
set of nails that I'm doing on myself. But yeah, that I could just have a whole set of just that obsessed nude color and this vivid dream pink color. I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. I still haven't um, done a video of this set of nails in the dark yet. I'm going to put it in this video, but I'm just thinking I'm thinking out loud as I'm doing this voiceover. But anyways, this is what I'm doing with this nail. And also, I wanted to let you guys know I am waiting for a package to come in the mail that I ordered from Amazon. I ended up getting a microphone <clears throat> that hooks up to my phone. I am so excited about it because I've noticed lately that my voice on here, I don't know, it just sometimes it sounds all sounds weird and I'm hoping the microphone helps, but anyways, on the thumb, I am doing the same thing that I did on the pinky like I usually do. So, yeah, I'm going to let you watch as I do this and then we will move on to the encapsulating after I'm done with this. I forgot before I encapsulate everything, I ended up taking these little triangle uh, glitter pieces that came in one of the Etsy jars. It's, it's not like normal glitter. It's raised up, kind of like the gold and silver triangles that you get in Amazon packages with the like stones and stuff or decorations embellishments that you put on top kind of looks like that only it's kind of like an iridescent looking thing but I put some base coat on and I cured it on the pinky and on the thumb and then I go in with my not polished clear and encapsulate all of the nails that I haven't encapsulated yet which is four of them because I encapsulated that one that I used base coat on, which is the ring finger. So I'll let you watch as I finish this up and then we'll move on to some fun painting and stone placement.
Okay, now this part is my favorite. I'm using the Profiles Backstage Frosting Gel Paint, the white color, and my McCart number one detail brush to do this uh, music note painting. I, I really wish I would have zoomed in a bit closer to the nails while well, I do. I mean, you can see, but I wish it was closer because, yeah, this was so much fun, guys. Like, I need to do some more detail painting. I really enjoyed it. But, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in on my accent nails and I'm going to do some random music notes and yeah I'll just shut up and let you watch on this part I sometimes you'll see that I didn't like the way that it was so all you got to do is wipe her off and start all over that's what I love about gel paint as long as you don't cure it then you can just wipe it off so yeah, make sure that you have your paintings the way that you want before you cure them because then babies will be, you'll have to file them off. They'll be stuck on there. So I'll shut up now and let you watch as I do this fun, fun part. And I'll be back in a jiffy.
On this finger, I'm going to put a few more music notes, but only on the bottom of it. Now I'm going to go in with my AB crystals that I got from Amazon and my stone gel from McCart and my glosset top coat from Not Polish. And we're going to put some stones on three of these nails. This one, the middle one, and the ombre.
For the thumb and the pinky, I am just putting the top coat on. I also want to point out, guys, that not polished clear is one of the clearest acrylics I have ever seen. Also, Enel Couture, like they both are the clearest I have ever seen. Seriously, after putting this top coat on, like I just couldn't stop staring. All right, guys, and here she is. Look how cute they turned out. Just wait until you see them glowing. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. I will definitely be doing more paintings. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Like my video, ring the bell so you're notified for future videos. Speaking of which, don't forget the giveaway coming up once I get to the 100 subscribers. Here's the rules here. Like each video until I do the giveaway. Comment the answers to my question in each video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, which is Mandy Clifford 22. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.